Hmm. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. We're just hanging out over here, having some tea. Um, but yeah, I'm not really going to talk too much. Uh, when we left off, we had a couple things to do. I think we got a letter from Sebastian, and we got a letter from Professor Weasley. But before doing that, I want to go and grab my broom, and then we'll see what else they want. Uh, but yeah, welcome guys. I appreciate you guys coming back. Let's just jump right into it and uh, have some fun. Have some more tea before we go. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's um, something I didn't know I could do. Is this the... Is this the broom shop? Oh, I guess so. There's people flying brooms right there. Hello. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Yep, don't know what that Wind is. Wisp, sure. Too. I'll take no matter all that what stuff. broom you choose, Mix you'll them all be together. pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, yeah, I'll have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Hmm. One that I can afford. <laughs> oh, they're all the same price. Okay. Hmm. Are uh, we gonna do have to do an eeny meeny money mo situation here? I think I might. Uh... That item is of the highest quality. Ooh, oh, that's friggin' super cool looking. Holy shite! That item is of the highest quality. Oh, it has whatever house you're in on it. That's cool. <laughs> that one has a little C. That item is of the highest quality. Um, I think I like that one. <laughs> Fiery tent. Yeah, I get it. All right. You'll be thrilled with that broom. Will I, I be thrilled you. with it? Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You tell me this you now. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Oh, you can enhance Go your on. broom too. Ha! Knew I was right about you. <laughs> Is there a mod I think shop? You'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for, for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sure, sounds great. That sounds intriguing. Everything's intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That's It'll my guy's uh, favorite. If I'm word. right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Yeah, I know, you said that's the second time you said that. All right, before we leave Hogsmeade, we are going to try to go shopping again. I don't think I, I don't have any money actually, so we are gonna go back to Hogwarts. Speak with Imelda Reyes and, oh, at the Quidditch pitch, okay. I wonder if there's like a cool way to come to a stop. Hey you, Gryffindor. That was pretty cool. What's up? Oh, I was gonna talk to you. That's right. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. 
steady now. Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. <laughs> the nerve. Why is he walking you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. It sounds a little bit like this girl's talking shit. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Right. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to I'm kind of nervous, actually. I don't know if I can. This is only like my third time flying this broom. Or my second time flying this broom specifically. Uh, all right. Made it. <laughs> now that's more like Oh my god, no! It's harder to control at the higher speeds. Excellent. Oh, oh shit! How did I miss it? I didn't miss it. God, it's so hard, dude. The, the flying with the toggles, the toggle uh, joysticks are weird. I'll get used to it, though. I keep missing them. Race time to okay, yeah, two oh six. But what is her time? Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, <laughs> fine. You won. Oh, okay. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still terrible. going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Well, all right. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Wow, well that was fun. Uh, return to the podium to challenge other racers and advance your way through the... Ooh, that sounds cool. I never thought someone would... I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough yeah i like i will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns heard a slight swoosh when i dipped swoosh oh, is cool. thank you mm. i thought That's swoosh was a good thing precisely what i needed to know drifted eh i shall get to work immediately 
Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Sure. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Room of requirements, that's right. That is so awesome. Like I didn't see it in the freaking title me, of the mission. Or the quest. Stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. I did absolutely nothing. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Mm. What is this place? This uh, is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Revelio. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Mm. So you use your magic. Oh, I this to do presents something. the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. Evanesco? Is that where you just do you the, the spell and then Evanesco starts playing? certain objects, such as <clears throat> these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Uh, e um. <laughs> Shit. Excellent work. <laughs> You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's sure. move on. Wow. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until oh, we nice. locate Deke. Okay, you didn't tell me I, you should yes, told me I could do that from the first place. Dude. Oh, dear me. Can't you Holy keep it down? Shite. Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Even in the wizarding world, Jack in the boxes are fucking weird. Oh, that's so cool. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. It looks beautiful, that's what it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Uh, <laughs> no, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. They defended the room, thought I needed a bath. <laughs> Cheeky thing. <laughs> Ooh. I don't I don't need a toilet right now. Look at that. Gorgeous. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Like you're doing right now. What was that? Lumos. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Accio. Lumos. 
Really? Accio. Lumos. Hmm. Revelio. That seems like a missed opportunity. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Pretty cool. You've given <laughs> yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Nice. One should <clears throat> always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. Identify <laughs> gear, tanned cloak. Okay. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Eh, not a big fan of the cloak. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Okay. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Did you just use the word in this definition of the word? That's against the rules, lady. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. 
You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Wow, that's mm, very deceptive. unique. Why don't you give it a try? Okay. Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. <laughs> That's awesome. Of course I'm gonna go with that one. Boom. And then what else? This guy. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. This is Presuming, pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. you've collected any Rugs, seeds or potion nothing. ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. That's so funny. This is so funny. I love this. Alright, so there's no other furniture or anything like that. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Cool. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Dude, the room of requirements is sick. That is so cool. Now I have this here. I have that there. I wonder what else I can set up. Many months later. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. All right, so I got a little carried away doing, like, the interior designing. I put this table, that... Which you saw already. Um, I put a whole bunch of stuff on the wall. Let's see. I put all these candles here, 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 and here. All over the place. I put those chairs. You know, it doesn't really change much, but it still looks pretty cool. I wonder, I mean, because there's so many things that you can unlock over time that it's, it's just crazy. 
Moonstone. Where do I go to gather Moonstone? Rebellion. Fuck, well, man, it's gonna take me forever to find this. Well, here we go. Akio. See any more anywhere? I mean, shite. Yeah, look at all that. Akio. Twenty-three. All right, I just need a couple more. Rebellion. Aha, spiders. Shit. All right. Yep, I'm gonna have to battle. Like I got all of them. Oh no, it's 44. Right, let's see. I need to get this. Akio. Oh shit. Stupid boy. Stupid little ass. Thought I saw a whole thing of them over here. Did they break them? Come on. Oh, maybe they're through this web. Oh, I see them right there. Incendio. Ah, oh, still gotta get one more. Oh, was that it? Was that it? Return to Professor Weasley. Okay. Revelio, I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh, I did that already. Good work. Thank you. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration? The altering huh? spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Ooh. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Ooh, okay, where does this even... Okay. Right. Perform the altering spell to customize it. Wow. Cool. Oh, no way! That is awesome. You can change the floor. No way, dude. Oh, I can change everything. Okay. Wow. How do I want to put it, guy? I mean, you could change it at any time, I'm assuming, right? Um, we're going to make it a gothic ceiling. Much, much, much later. Professor what Weasley up, said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlit ambience. I'd like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. I'd like yes, room please. Feel mysterious and eerie. 
as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. What's he gonna do? Let me see. Woo! <laughs> that is sick. I love that. That is awesome. And that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Quite a difference. I know. It looks course, better this you way. You needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. That's so crazy. I've learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. They've hooked me up with like a whole home base here. <laughs> An even bigger space. Yeah, thank you. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Awesome, dude. This place looks absolutely incredible. I was thinking about making it more of like that greenhouse look. I guess those aren't my pages. Um, but yeah, we will do... We'll mess around with it a little bit more when we come back. But we're going to go ahead and end... Oh, you know how to do that, buddy. We're going to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like the video. And subscribe to the channel and uh, I just wanted to say that I do appreciate all the love on the first couple videos and uh, hopefully we can continue this journey together and you guys can continue to enjoy this game as far as I know uh, we are still pretty much in the beginning of the game we haven't really touched the surface of this so there's still gonna be a decent amount but as I said if you haven't already go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one love you guys peace